Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Scorpio. Hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, your comments, all your views. I really appreciate it. So I thought I'd do this little bonus love for you. What is the overall energy surrounding Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? Ah, there you are. You're looking the other way. Yeah, you're kind of looking the other way. You're kind of giving up on something here. You're looking at this passion like you were really passionate about something. Kind of thinking about surrendering, but I think you're, it's like you're back and forth. You're definitely looking at this wand, wondering if you should give up on somebody or surrender to this passion. <laughs> somebody may not be surrendering to you. They may have given up. Someone's holding themselves in the highest regard, an Empress energy, Scorpio. Yeah, this is you with that Mars energy. And I feel like this person's, somebody's given up here. They're holding themselves in high regard. Maybe they feel that you're not. Yeah, somebody's soul searching, looking for answers. Yeah, this person probably said something to you. Um, this You could also have a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be the one holding yourself in high regard as well, okay? So, but I kind of feel as though you're just not so sure if you should give up or surrender to someone. But take it however it resonates for you, okay? Because I do see that as Mars energy and I see that as the King of Wands. You really like this person, like you really, and they really like you too. Like I can see this, there's a lot of um, chemistry here, like... You're very passionate about this, but I feel like you're maybe focused on that a little bit too much with this person. I feel like they're not surrendering, like they're this person's holding themselves in high regard. They they don't want to surrender to that. They don't. They just feel like they need to give up. They're soul searching, looking for answers, looking for something. They may be a Taurus. Maybe a Libra energy. It doesn't have to be. I see this energy. I'm an I Libra Aquarius. So this person may have said something to you. They may have cut you out or said something sharp, but I think they made themselves pretty clear. Um, definitely that they're holding themselves in high regard. So, yeah, this person, yeah, this person's definitely a little burdened by it, or maybe you are with this. This is probably you, this Mars energy. You feel a little bit burdened by something, what this person said. You're kind of carrying this around a little. It's bugging you a bit, Scorpio. Yeah, you want this new beginning. You want this fresh new start with this person. I feel like you're pretty emotional. You know, there's probably some love here. You want to offer this person that cup. I know you do. But you're not sure. You're you're definitely, I can tell you, you're focused on the passion a little too much. Or you're focused on what they look like too much. Because <laughs> I feel they're probably really sexy. And I, they see you that way too, like big time. Okay, absolutely. Very charismatic, very charming, very sexy, uh, very hands-on kind of person, right? Man or woman, it doesn't matter. But you're, if you're a female, you're very powerful right now. You're so focused on this person. Yeah, so let's have a look here. Yeah, and this could be you too, holding yourself in high regard, not surrendering to this, right? It could be you as well. You know, there may be someone around you. It could be a... Uh, Virgo, yeah, there's some secrets, mystery, confusion, someone has a little bit of fear, someone's holding on to some fear, holding on to something, they're looking at the details, feeling a little bit stuck, so, yeah, someone's holding on to some fears, yeah, they do want to come towards you, or you want to go towards this person, I know you do, but I feel like it's them too, they may have some water in their chart, this could be you as well, cutting out this person because they're focused on that passion just way too much. You're just not, you're not doing it. You don't want that burden. You want to behave more responsible. I feel like you want, you told this person that you want to, you know, they need to be behave in a more responsible matter, uh, in a more responsible way, right? They, this is someone who's looking for someone they can rely on, someone who shares the uh, responsibility okay in a relationship as well so there may have been words about that 
I feel like it's probably you. If you've got Libra or Taurus in your chart, this is all you. <laughs> Definitely holding out. You are not surrendering to somebody. Somebody needs to really let go of that, uh, that energy of focusing on the passion way too much or on the way someone looks too much more than the, the emotion. This, I feel like you want this love, you do, and I feel like you want to offer this person love, or if they may be coming towards you. I see Cancer energy here, so maybe a Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. Every time you see the Hermit, there's not always a Virgo in the mix. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, let's start clarifying. Yeah, wow. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? What is this person thinking? Yeah, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, they're thinking. They're focused on the passion. They're thinking about offering that cup of love. Yes, they are. All right, Scorpio. Yeah, look at that. Yes. This person may be a Cancer. They may be coming in to offer you something. Look at that. Beautiful. Or maybe a Pisces. Nine of Wands, why is this here? Oh, look at that. Yeah, so someone's got a really big ego. They need to set themselves free from that. Someone gets a lot of attention, so their ego's huge. But someone needs to let go of that, okay? It needs to... Uh, the only way this is going to move forward successfully is if that the ego is released. But I feel as though someone sort of isn't surrendering. I feel like you're holding out. You're absolutely holding yourself in high regard. It's like, nope, sorry, I am not going to uh, give up my standards okay you're keeping your standards very high and i feel this person may be a sag and they may be coming towards you see that energy i also see this cancer pisces energy as well but you want love scorpio you want that cup here <laughs> yes you do you want this person to offer up some emotion you want that someone who reciprocates that yeah you won't accept anything but you absolutely won't. Nope, you're holding out. Good for you. Yeah, so we have someone here who's going to... Uh, someone's not made their intentions clear. So I feel like maybe this person's coming in. They have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. They're coming in to maybe clear things up, make their intentions clear. Okay, someone maybe didn't and they rushed in. They're coming in just for that passionate, you know, that attention. So, but they may not have made their intentions clear. So I feel like you're holding, you're just absolutely holding yourself in high regard. Like you're not, you are absolutely keeping your, the you know, the bar high here. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah, I feel like this person's coming in there. They have some kind of plan or strategy. They're going to come tell you a story or maybe clear things up and apologize. Possibly to you, Scorpio. Yeah, you got a Pisces or a Cancer here. Uh, they have some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. You definitely mix well uh, as far as your charts with the air and uh, this water energy. It's interesting. Tell me about this Empress. There we go. Yeah, so somebody here. Yeah, you're going to have success here. Holding yourself in high regard is going to bring you success. This person knows it. They know what you're doing. And they're having this aha moment. So now they're soul searching, looking for answers kind of hanging at home. They feel like there's no hope. They have some remorse and regret, though, Scorpio. They do. They regret, um, you know, holding back. I feel like this person's kind of introverted. They don't really, they're not the most emotional. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's this person's manifesting. Yeah, you've got a Gemini. Uh, possibly a Virgo that's manifesting. I think you must, you told this person off. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. They may have manipulated you. You may have told this person off and cut them out. I feel like they're coming in to apologize. Like this person told you a bit of a fishtail, a little bit of a story, right? They didn't make their intentions clear. They came towards you uh, with that, ener that passionate energy, just looking for attention. So, yeah, I, I don't think you're, <laughs> nope. You made yourself very clear. I see that. I love it. Good for you. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Excellent energy. Yeah, so I feel as though... <laughs> 
somebody wants to clear something up, they want to heal a situation. I feel like you've been on a long break, probably haven't talked to each other a whole lot by the looks of it. But it's about to happen, this apology. They're just strategizing their story right now. So just watch that. This person has a bit of an ego. So... Yeah, they got... The, they want to clear something up. They want to take responsibility. Or maybe they don't. It's kind of hard to say here. Yeah, they don't. They want to just release that. They want to just clear something up. But I feel like you're holding back. I, I don't think you're going to take responsibility. I feel like you made yourself very clear here. And I feel like you cut this person out. But they are coming back. They may have Gemini in their chart. That could be that air. Yeah, so the cycle that's ending. So something ended. This person wants to come towards you. They want to heal this, clear the air. Yep, they're looking towards a reconciliation. They may do something really sweet for you or come in and start sweet talking with this, right? With that page of cups. A little bit wishy-washy sweet talking you to reconcile. But then they'll actually step up. I do feel like they have feelings. I do. I feel like they're going to come in and offer you, take you out somewhere. Uh, but I feel like you're a little afraid. You're still holding on some of the fears. You're still holding on to what happened where you feel like they were just coming at you, just focusing on your body, the sex, you know, talking like that, not uh, really making you feel like they cared about you. So they want to come in and fix it. So, yeah, they're going to take you out, talk to you. Um, you know, this is a communication where they take action to offer that cup. But I see you feeling a little afraid, or they have fears, and they're kind of feeling a bit stuck. They're looking at all the details. Let's see what happens with this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups? Yeah, look at that. Here they come. Focus on that passion. Yeah, they're coming in to fight for this, but they're still focused on the passion. And this is the thing. So, But they need to balance the two out, so at least they're coming in to offer this they want this fresh new start. They're going to offer it. It will eventually offer the big cup. They will put all the emotions out there. Tell me about this moon. Why is the moon here? I feel like this person, they, they want you. I can tell you that. Yeah, there's the moon here. Someone's a little bit confused, not so sure. This person's coming in. I feel as though maybe you feel like they have other people they have other options you're a little bit worried you're holding on to something here you, know, you feel like you need to protect yourself like this person kind of gets around keeps secrets they keep their options open so when someone treats you like that that's the first thing you think right is that fear oh my god this person gets around you know but i feel like you rejected this person unless they come towards you and offer love and emotion it's definitely a rejection i think they are worried they are worried yeah there's that sad they need to temper that passion they need to tone it down. <laughs> they need to be a little more patient. They need to offer up those emotions first. Share their feelings before they rush towards that, you know, that passionate energy. Like, there's nothing worse. Yeah, so somebody, feel like you stood up to this person, Scorpio. There you are. You stood up to them. You stood up for what you believe in. I feel like you just sort of held yourself in high regard, con concentrated on all your abundance, your career, your work, and yourself. And I feel like you definitely spoke your truth to this person. And they're they're getting it. Trust me. They're having this aha moment that um, you're, not, uh, you're not responding to them. Uh, I feel they're going to try to sweet talk you. So, yeah. But you're feeling a little bit afraid. You're, you know, feeling like you need to protect yourself. Because they may be very secretive. Yeah. Purging and release this. Some Aquarius energy. So... You may have that in your chart, Scorpio, or they may have it in theirs. I see there's lots of air here. Lots of healing and purging and releasing here to be done. If you're feeling that way, maybe you need to release those fears and just maybe you have fears because you've been treated like that before. So you just sort of sit there and stand up for yourself and, you know, you stand up for what you believe in. I can see that. You've got that Mars energy. This person could have Scorpio in their chart, but I see Sagittarius. Uh, could be Leo or, or Aries for that matter. Not really seeing. I just see Sag in here. Tell me about the King of Rods. 
What's this person's intentions towards Scorpio? What's their intentions? What are their intentions? There we go. Ooh, this person's planning something. Now, they could have some Earth in their chart too, but this is generally someone who's working th something out, working out the details. They're planning something. They want to come in and heal this. I feel they... I feel like they're very passionate about this. I do feel this person works hard, self-employed, entrepreneur. They probably handle all the money with whatever they do. They're very focused on their on their finances. They're fairly well off, definitely very dedicated, very passionate and creative. Uh, I feel like they're working something out here, paying attention to the details. They're planning to come in and offer you a date or take you out to offer that cup of love. You know, they want to, you know, release this energy. They do hold you in high regard, and I feel you're going to continue to do this yourself while you purge and release this. Yeah, this person's thinking about commitment. They may invite you to their house. Never know. Oh, yeah, this person definitely sees a future with you. Oh, yeah, they're, oh, oh my gosh, Scorpio. You've got somebody coming in to offer you. Look at that. Yeah, there's the end of your single life right there. All right, there's going to be some kind of a transformation. Wow, what's this? Tra things are changing. What is this transformation? What's transforming here? Well, the two of you are going to come back together. You're going to come back together with this person. Yeah, you're going to commit. There's going to be a commitment. You're going to be on the same page too. Oh my gosh, what a turnaround. It's usually the other way around. The reading goes amazing and then... <laughs> yeah, it's the way people are. It's the way it happens sometimes. It doesn't mean it can't be worked out. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of talk and communication uh, back and forth. I think things are going to move very quickly. Possible commitment, marriage, living together, engagement, something like that. Absolutely. A fresh new start. This person's coming in more balanced. They're tempering that passion, right? They're toning it down. They're going to come in a lot more balanced with the Ace of Pentacles and be more reliable and uh, offer up those emotions. As you won't settle for anything less. You know what you want, Scorpio. And yeah, this person's been looking at things from every detail. They got some Pisces possibly in their chart. <laughs> And uh, not necessarily, but they may. And they're looking at things from every angle, uh, checking things out. And you're going to possibly do that. Maybe you have Pisces in your chart. And you're the one who's going to, because I see Cancer here too. Um, you know, making sure this is reliable, making sure this person is, uh, because you're st still standing there with that wand. You're, right? Oh, yeah, you're going to check this out. But I think they're looking at you. They They will check you out. <laughs> Like, they will temper those passions, but believe me, they are going to be looking at you. They do really like your body. I can see that they're very focused on that. They like a lot of things about you. All right, they're just revved up. Yeah, I think this person regrets being that way. They've been kind of hermiting away, spending some time alone, having a bit of a pity party, because you stood up to them, I guess. You made yourself pretty clear. If they want to come towards you, there'll be no manipulation. Now they need to fix, you know, They, you probably told them they need to fix their attitude. You know, they need to get rid of the ego. This person's been holding a torch for you, though, I'll tell you. Tell me about this magician. Yeah, this person's going to test the waters. They're going to dr drop you a few little hints, right? Because they want to know if you still feel the same because you are so harsh. Like, they're a little afraid to communicate, but... They will muster up the strength. They have all the tools they need. Um, there's nothing you... They're, they're just going to offer you so much. So if they start breadcrumbing you, like there may have been something here where you said, you know, if you don't reciprocate properly, adios. I feel like you really let this person have it. But they sure are missing you. And I do feel that they... Uh, they're very much burdened. They want to take responsibility and, and clear this up. They want to put an end to this and move things forward. So I'm hoping they take responsibility and release that ego, that attitude, you know, just coming towards you like that, you know, looking at you like, you know, you're just an adventure, like you're a toy, right? Like I, I, that's how, that's how they made you feel, right? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you just have to watch. They are planning an apology. Just watch the story they tell you, uh, the reason why they acted like that. 
You may look at that from every angle and kind of go, I don't know, is this person for real? <laughs> or this is you, part of me, looking at that going, is this like for real? You're going to check it out pretty thoroughly. So, especially if you have Pisces in your chart. So, tell me about this hanged man and we'll wrap it up. Yeah, you want something safe and secure and stable. You're going to make sure it's safe that you feel safe with this person, that they're stable, and that you can rely on them to commit to you. Because if they don't commit to you and they keep their options open, I feel like you need to protect yourself and you feel really, uh, you're really afraid of that. You really don't like that kind of energy, the way they behave. They act like they just want to rush in and out, right? So, very nice. You keep doing what you're doing, Scorpio. You're doing good. I feel like there's somebody, it may not be this person, it's hard to say, um, someone's definitely manifesting you. It could be a Gemini. You may have a Gemini. You could have a Virgo. You could have a Gemini Taurus cusp, a Taurus. <sighs> definitely Virgo I see here. And definitely that Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got just about the whole line of Zodiac signs here. So let's see what the outcome of this is. Oh, wait, not yet. we got a couple minutes. Tell me about this page of cups. That's what I want to know. Yeah, younger woman. Dealing or relationship with a younger woman. Yeah. So you may be younger than this person, and they're coming in to deal with you there a little bit. Yeah, they're going to tell you a bit of a story here, so that's pretty interesting. That's probably you. You're probably younger than this person. Uh, they have to come in and apologize to you. They may have had somebody else. It's possible this person did have their options open. They may have had someone. They may come in and tell you a story about something that happened. Just be cautious. You're going to look at this every way. But I, I kind of feel like you're seeing this security, the safety, seeing them as more reliable. But you're going to look to, you know, can I rely on this person to tell the truth? I kind of feel like you're at this not so sure, but it could be them as well. Okay, feeling... Not so sure. Someone's definitely regretting something. Why all the regrets here? Why the sense of loss? There we go. Ooh, we have a man dealing with a relationship with a man. So that's you. You feel like this person may be hopeless or vice versa. You'll have to flip it. <laughs> man or woman. Ooh, very interesting. Yeah. Tell me about this magician. Yeah, so there's a chain of events, something that's going to happen. This person's manifesting. They have all the tools they need, and they're going to reach out to you. So there's a chain of events that's going to change change your life here. I feel like this person's coming in. I actually feel that you're going to get what you want from this person. I feel they're very sweet on you. I feel like they want to have a family with you. They want to commit to you. Uh, so maybe whatever happened here, maybe they did have someone they had to deal with. Maybe they were getting a lot of attention from somebody, and I don't know, but just watch what the story is. Maybe you're older and they were they had somebody younger. Tell me about this Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Ooh, there's the older woman. Yep, so somebody was definitely... Um, had somebody younger. Yeah, they kept their options open. They were getting a lot of attention. Uh, from younger people so they're going to come in and clear things up tell you the truth or they have a strategy here um, they're going to tell you or apologize or something here but I feel like you may be the younger you could be the older not this old necessarily uh, but this person's they're coming towards you they want you because I feel they're probably uh, in your age group I feel like this person is definitely uh you feel like there's no hope with this person, though. I feel like maybe you went into hermit mode after this, Scorpio. You know, spent a little bit of time alone contemplating this person, feeling like they were a kind of a hopeless case. I always, I feel that with that card a lot. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. There we go. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Yeah, so... Definitely, yeah. So I feel like this person's definitely left to this other person. Okay, they've left that younger person. And they're coming back to talk to you to apologize. They're going to tell you the whole story. Uh, they're going to temper things. They want to heal things and have a reconciliation. Definitely. That person may have been a, a Cancer Pisces. 
Ace of Pentacles. There we go. Yeah, there's love. They're offering you love. This person loves you. Um, they really do. They're coming back towards you. Uh, I feel like you You may be the older person, but uh, whatever it is, there's balance. This person sees you as just right. Uh, but there was something out of balance with this younger person. I mean, that could be their child. It could be their, uh, their, their daughter. All right, this person may have a daughter or something. Um, might have been even a younger sister. I don't really see a whole lot of... And I do see this person getting a lot of attention because possibly they're successful. You know, they look like they're self-employed, uh, creative. Definitely they have a lot of money. So they may get a lot of attention. But I kind of feel like it could even be a daughter. They're having issues with a daughter or something. I don't know. Whatever it is. Eight of Wands. There we go. Yep, there's that bouquet. Yep, compliments. They're coming in. They're going to offer you. you know, you're going to get what you want. They're going to definitely, you compliment each other as well. They're going to tell you that. They definitely see the possibilities with you. Uh, if this person does have somebody else um, did, they're ending it with them. All right, Scorpio, they're coming to transform things with you. And it could be you, Scorpio, ending something with someone. This could flip around where you're ending something and going towards this person. It all depends, right? Yes. Yeah, I see this being uh, moving towards a commitment quite quickly. Quickly, I think you're both on the same page. Yeah, cobwebs. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Yeah, so you're protected from negativity here. So that's what I was going to say. I feel as though... Purging and releasing, holding yourself in high regard. Someone feels they need to protect themselves here. Uh, but there's a need to release this fear. And somebody, uh, you're going to need to release this. And I feel like you will when this person comes in and they tell you what happened, tell you a story. So this story could be anything. So, um, yeah, something is ending. But it could be you ending it. It's possible. But there is this transformation. So things are turning around. Tell me about this. I want to see who this older woman is. Boy, they really had to put that, make that somebody really old. What happened to middle-aged? <laughs> Tell me about this older woman. Yeah, you're the more mature. I feel like it's you. You're the more mature person. And um, they definitely have sweet feelings. They've, you may have known this person for a very long time, too. They're missing you so much. Tell me about the older woman. Yeah, they're missing you big time. They want a reconciliation. They love you. They're going to tell you that. Tell me about this younger woman. What happened with this younger woman? What does Scorpio need to know? Yeah, they were connected. Yeah, they had a connection with this younger woman. It may have been a karmic or just a friend. So maybe they had a friend that was coming on to them or something as well. This is also sometimes karmic. Uh, I see two people staring at each other. Yeah, so they definitely, there was a connection, but it could have been just a friend. So maybe there was some kind of gossip or something about this. I don't know. Tell me about this younger woman. Why is this younger woman here? Yeah, they walked away from this person. Yeah, this may have been a karmic or just a soulmate or just a friend or something. Uh, they're going to tell you this, though. They're turning their back on this person and walking away. They're heading towards you uh, because they definitely do, yeah. Wow. All right, let's grab some outcome. I want to see what the outcome is. Yes, all this negative energy, all this fear is going to be released. It's the end of it, Scorpio. Things are transforming in your favor. Yeah, to be fair, you're going to have to be in a commitment. You're getting some justice. Somebody's coming in. They may have Libra energy in their chart. They don't have to. Beautiful energy. Yeah, look at that. Yes, and we have a fork in the road. Yeah, you're at a fork. You have a choice to make here yourself. Okay, uh, but I think it's the person coming towards you. They're maybe choosing between you and someone else, and they're coming towards you. 
this might be somebody who kind of has an ego, so they get a lot of, you know, they have lots of money. Some of the young, some young lady chased after them. Something happened there, but it's going to be different for everyone. So uh, I feel as though this person's making a choice. They're choosing you. I can see that. Uh, there's a chain of events here that's going to change your life. It's beautiful. Uh, so just go ahead and start imagining it, manifesting it, okay? Uh, because I feel like there's something really lovely happening. And if you've uh, known this person for a long time, um, they definitely are missing you. Yeah, slow and steady. They're coming towards you. Uh, they see you like this treasure. Uh, they're coming in with this treasure on their back. Slow and steady wins the race. They want to do things right. They want to do things right by you. Yeah, they're coming in, taking everything they learned from this experience and coming towards you to make peace. Scorpio, wow. Lovely. Yeah, there's going to be a little bit of chaos and conflict, of course, when they come back because there's going to be a lot of talk about this competition, this person, uh, this argument something that's happened so you guys will have to let me know where that goes boy oh boy tell me about this chaos and conflict what's going to happen here yeah oh there's the chaos and conflict yeah the two of you are coming back together again uh, there's a lot of love you guys have a very strong bond a very strong connection and it's not just uh the physical it's definitely that too but this this person likes everything about you uh, where the other person, that was just some kind of karmic, doesn't mean they, if you, I mean, I don't see that you were in a relationship like they cheated on you. I just think this person, a little bit of a playboy, you know, that kind of thing gets a lot of attention because they're sexy. Uh, but you certainly do too. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like you're that empress energy. You're, this person knows, they know what you are. Beautiful. All right, you guys, I wish you the best in this situation. You'll have to let me know. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.